All right, and this is our first test of the crystal sync on the RE16S. Uh, it's crystal synced motor for from Pluriboom, and this is the uh, sort of prototype version of it. We've got the 24 and the 48 frames a second on this one. And uh, we will be able to uh, flip up uh, the power switch to turn it on. And there's also going to be a USB port here that you can plug into and modify the code on the motor if you really want to. It's got our logo on the front and some nice little things here. And here we're going to do a little test of running the motor. So we'll plug it in. And you can use any sort of just like 12 volt battery pack that you want um, to power these things. Uh, and you'll see that there's a nice little light on the front. And when we start running it, that light will turn red and then switch over to being uh, green uh, to tell you that it's at crystal sync speed. You can see now the, the light is green, so it's running at crystal sync speed. Uh, and you can also speed it on up to 48, you'll see here. Oh yeah, look at that. So, so you've actually got two different speeds, two different crystal sync speeds that you can run at with the Pluriboom crystal sync motor. Um, and it took me a while actually to like source all the different parts that could actually fit perfectly into this sort of uh, enclosure that I designed. Um, but they're all easy to obtain parts um, and they're all uh, sort of parts that anybody could order themselves and build a battery pack themselves. Um, and so that's what I think is most exciting is that I'm going to release all the designs for this. I'm going to put them all up online and you can order the parts yourself and you can 3D print the body, and you can follow the directions and make your own crystal sync motor for the RE16S and start shooting sync sound. That's maybe a little loud. You can probably hear the camera running in the background because it's not the quietest camera and not the quietest motor. Um, but it is doing its best to, to stay up to speed with the, the crystal synchronization. And, and so uh, we'll see. Uh, this is sort of a test to find out uh, if, and, and you know there's probably another good test is I'll probably do a clap right now to see if it matches up perfectly towards the end of the roll uh, as well as at the beginning. Um, but hopefully, uh, you know, after this test we'll have verified that the motor can run through an entire 100 foot roll of 16 millimeter film and stay up to speed. And we'll probably do a subsequent test as well uh, with the 48 frames a second speed as well. Uh, just to verify, um, but yeah, it's got like quite a few, uh, you know, little niceties for being such a compact motor. Um, and then I guess another good test would be to bring it in really close to my face.